New details tonight in the arrest of a serial stabbing suspect in Davis. We have learned that the suspect used to live in Oakland. KTV's Alyssa Harrington has been following this story. She joins us now live with more. Alyssa. Well, that's right. 21-year-old Carlos Dominguez went to high school and community college here in Oakland. He attended Laney College before transferring to UC Davis. Police say he is responsible for these three stabbings. A murderer is off the streets and our families will sleep easier tonight. Relief in the college town of Davis with the arrest of a suspect in a string of stabbings, two which were deadly. This booking photo shows 21-year-old Carlos Dominguez, a former UC Davis student. The university confirmed Dominguez, who's known to the school as Carlos Reales Dominguez, was a student until a little over a week ago. On April 25th, he, quote, was separated for academic reasons. The first stabbing victim was discovered April 27th. These crimes were horrific. They're hard to imagine. They struck fear in the community. Video shows officers questioning Dominguez Wednesday, just a block from one of the stabbing scenes. A large knife was found in his backpack. Police said multiple people called in tips. One of the callers even followed the suspect and led police right to him. I had called in a report while I was in the car just saying that there was a person matching this description walking down the street and kind of tried to keep them updated. KTVU has learned Dominguez used to live in Oakland. He attended Laney College before transferring to UC Davis. His photo is featured in an Oakland Story Bank article profiling at Carlos Reales. It details some of his time at Castlemont High School. In the article, he described his dreams of becoming a doctor one day to help the community. A motive for these stabbings is not known. Dominguez is facing two counts of homicide in the deaths of David Bro and Kareem Abu Najim and the attempted murder of a homeless woman named Kimberly. These horrific crimes have resulted in immeasurable loss to the victims' families and friends and to our community. But as we move forward together, it also demonstrates Davis has compassion, a deep sense of community when faced with tragedy. Dominguez could be arraigned as early as Monday. Chancellor Gary May announced that as the community heals, safe rides will continue to operate with extended hours at UC Davis. And the university had moved night classes online for safety reasons, but starting Monday, they go back to in-person. Reporting live, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Yeah, so much relief that someone is in custody. Alyssa, thank you.